Hey everyone, Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4. I have a Prusa i3 MK3 here on the workbench and I'm hoping to get it built uh, this weekend. But as you can see, it comes plastic wrapped. I'm just going to do a time lapse on the build so that it's not too long of a video and maybe some of you guys will find it interesting. And uh, I'll stop and talk about something if I see anything interesting. But uh, anyways guys, enjoy the video.
Okay guys, that was the build of the i3 MK3S by Prusa. Um, pretty easy build. Uh, if you really start thinking about it, the wiring is probably the hardest part just to get all the diagrams correct. And I did have it right the first time. I just, um, there's some questions it asks you and you're setting it up and I answered those wrong. But, um, to most people it's probably a very intimidating project to build something like this, but if you really think about it, could you, if you split it into the parts that this splits it into, like chapters, you could do each of those independently. I think it's just the idea of doing the whole thing that's intimidating to people. You know, the whole wiring, you could do that. The whole building the extruder head, um, you could do that easily. So, not a very difficult build. I would say the average person in the RC hobby would be able to do this if you're handy with things you'd likely be able to complete it um, the most helpful thing to me when I built the first one was that they have the instruction manual online as well and on the online manual people can ask questions where uh, they will be answered there so if you do have any specific questions they're likely already been asked and answered so um, yeah not a bad build at all, I think they did a great job on it and been really happy with it so far. I already printed this frog out, you guys saw the frog getting printed. This is a test print i also been printing a few other things in PLA, but um, it was much easier being that this was my second printer. Uh, this is the first one and I need to replace the fan and the hot end right now. but. Um, Shouldn't be too difficult to do that either. Uh, I just need to get the parts ordered. But been uh, really good printers for me, other than that fan issue there. So if you're looking for a printer that's just gonna print, I would really highly recommend it. Uh, I feel like it runs good and does really nice quality at a half decent amount of speed. And things like the sensor when it runs out of filament is nice or when the power goes out, it'll find its way back, and just things like that. So, I've been really happy with it so far, but I do get some pretty good use out of these printers. I'll go ahead and show you a body that I printed on this first one. So here's that body I was talking about. This was about 60 hours of print time, and as you can see, it was two halves, the top half and the bottom half, I guess, or the back and the front half. And then I also added these aluminum details. I'm not finished with it yet, but um, I have not worked on it for a couple months, so might be time to finish it up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're interested in seeing a build on this, I would be willing to do it. I just haven't really messed with it in a long time yet, and I have some other projects I want to get done first at this point in time. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the build. I hope that time lapse was interesting to people. I like seeing things come together in a faster manner. I think it is a little bit more entertaining to me than sitting through a whole part by part video going through it all. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some more printer videos up soon on various parts and pieces that I make on them. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Also, if you have any other questions about these printers, uh, RC Voodoo also has one of these and I believe he also likes his as well he makes parts and pieces for his trucks and sells them he even sent me a few of his pieces so anyways guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video